Well, obviously, Mike, I took my oxycetylene bottles out, but, you know, they, they plug in. I left the straps for whoever buys it, so they ratchet in there. Uh, the telecopping lights, uh, you know all about the obvious stuff, right? Um, the toolbox we don't need to look at and uh, this stuff. Um, that's your air drain for your system. Uh, you pump it up. Um, the reels are self-explanatory. Of course, left the reels and the cables in there instead of taking them out. Because I have cables already. Uh, um, you, 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 the function of the crane, or because this one here, um, oh, I don't know if you saw. This is a your one inch air hose, so you can run you can run a big uh, air gun off of. Yeah, exactly. And it runs a tar gun super good. Yeah, and then uh, the the function of um, you know the remote control crane. Are you familiar with those? Mm -hmm. Okay. So and then on this one here, I don't know if the other ones you can you can start start and stop your motor from this remote. Mm -hmm. You know if you don't want your motor running on the whole time, and uh, and that auxiliary is for your air compressor. Okay. Like sure. like when it's going, you go you know let the truck warm up, go to fast idle and hit that, and your air compressor kicks on, and you hit it again, it'll kick it off. Okay. Now some cranes, uh, you know, are automatic. Like when you. Uh, raise them up or raise the boom down the the reel will either let cable out or not this one does not okay so you got to manually do that it's, it's yeah exactly sure. so make sure that it, they know that so it doesn't get busted um and then uh this run either your crane or your outriggers okay this is this here and this outrigger slides out here on your crane side right, right. and then you have those yeah you got to put the extensions on Oh yeah, parts worker. Uh, so this is here, and yeah, the fluid is even pretty clean. Filter. Yeah, it's a filter for the so it just oh, keeps you the clean your parts. Yeah, it's a parts okay, cleaner. Parts cleaner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a parts okay. cleaner. Okay, just like in a shop. Yeah. Uh, works really, really good actually. I didn't know. I didn't pull that out yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then. Uh, Oh, look, yeah, nothing there. Oh, that's just been. One thing on the extensions, right? Are they there? Here's all the real hoses, yeah. With the outrigger extensions? Oh, the outrigger extensions, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, they're there. Yeah, so they they, they go on pretty easy. Uh, I see, I'm even some picky. I had one guy was helping me put these away, and he threw them in there after they were on the ground. I always wipe the bottoms off before I put them in the bin. <laughs> yeah. I go look when you open the door. I mean, yeah. no, grease, no, no, I'd get I'd get mad when someone would use my bench and leave oil spots on it. <laughs> yeah. So these but are uh, just the extensions. Yeah, the outriggers because the body and the truck. Uh, the body. You're right, because of the four-wheel drive chassis, uh, their hydraulic extensions go down. Uh, they'll make it, but it makes it not quite as stable. They stabilize it quite a bit, so you'd always use these. Yeah. And, and, uh, oh, and here, uh, these are extra lights for the tower lights. Okay. Because I don't have nothing else to save it for. Okay. And then, uh, that's, uh, that's for the crane. Yeah, for the crane. That's exactly right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, and then the product, and then uh, the, the for the air com air drive. This is your uh, drain for via water course, and and, and now we just always use. Carco recommend, and we used uh, Marvel Mister Oil sure. for for the oil for their uh, compressor. Um, this this is uh, um, your oil your oil manifold drain. So if you leak a little diesel in there, and this little this is a, a small little compartment to hold your diesel, you can plug suck it out with your uh, oil vac right okay. next door. Sure. You can just plug it in there and suck it right out. Okay. Um, I've never had to suck it out because I don't sure. let it drip. Anyway, you know, to, to power the air for all the products for your yeah. oil grease that side, for your diesel pump this side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then how big are the product tanks? Yeah, we have 50 gallon motor oil, 50 gallon hydraulic oil, uh, 25 gallon antifreeze, a quarter barrel grease pot, uh, which I just left the grease pot in there for you, and 100 gallon diesel tank. And a 50 gallon waste oil recovery tank.
your moist oil, uh, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You, you, you know, you, you power it there, you, you know, your tank, you, uh, you either fill it, which means you're sucking, you know, your waste oil or you're emptying your tank. And then this, this is your, the tube, like for, if you have a, like, like when we service, say a dozer or something, you have a big oil pan, because sure. our machines don't have the plug in. And then you just stick this in your pan and it drafts it right out. 